Hi everyone, today I will be making some seafood okra. A friend of mine requested a recipe for my pescatarian okra, so I decided to make a video on how to. There are so many ways to make the Nigerian okra soup, I will be showing you how I make my seafood okra. The ingredients you will need are mixed seafood as well as king prawns, you will need some smoked mackerel, you will also need some stock from your stockfish and your smoked catfish, some okra and some leafy greens, you would also need some peppers as well as onions and your red oil. Well, I've blended the onions and the bell peppers in here. I've also used some crayfish powder, some stock cubes and obono which is optional. To a pot I'm adding a quarter of a cup of palm oil. Then I'm going to go ahead to add my stock cubes. After which I will be adding the blended pepper and onions. And then I'm going to let that fry for about two to three minutes. After which I will be adding the obono. This is optional, you don't have to put obono. And then you're going to mix that properly and then let that fry for an additional three minutes. After which we're going to be adding the stock from the smoked catfish and the stockfish which is oporoko or panna. Then we're going to cover that and let that cook for about 6 to 10 minutes. After which we're going to add some crayfish powder as well as some salt to taste. Then we're going to go ahead to add the mixed seafood. And also the smoked mackerel fish. Then we're going to cover that up and let that cook for about three to four minutes. Then I've got here some pumpkin leaves and just a tiny bit of set leaves as well. You can use spinach if you like, but whatever leafy, leafy greens that you prefer. Now, I'm going to be adding some water because I don't want mine very thick. Remember, I haven't put in the okra yet. So it is down to preference how thick or how watery you prefer your um, okra soup. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some more crayfish. Mix that in properly so it's evenly distributed. Cover that up and let that cook for about 2-3 minutes. Then you go ahead and add your okra. I've literally just chopped mine in my food processor. So you can either grate it or blend it, whatever you prefer. Now just cover that up for extra two minutes and your okra is ready to be served. You can either have it on its own like that or have it with pounded yam gari or whatever you like. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.